Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. I've got something different here. This is a Heiser Defense PAR1. It's a little pocket carry handgun that with a tip-up barrel here that shoots 223 Remington. That is hence the name PAR1. Very interesting design. Now I knew Heiser made primarily 45s. I, I've seen those. It's a single shot. It kind of looks like this actually. It, it, they keep the same footprint for the most part but this is in 223 Remington and it's very interesting now I was talking to my man Gideon at Recoil Firearms in Taylor Michigan and he said he took this in just for the the novelty the different kind of firearm effect and it really caught my eye we, we've been talking about it and I think it is really cool if we check this thing out it looks like it has a three inch barrel it does have a little bit of an extractor there you have to manually pull out the shell we're going to show that because i'm going to head to the range shortly but it looks like a three three and a half inch barrel something like that but you also have to consider this is what caught me off surprise you have a a longer round there so actually you've got an inch and a half inch and three quarter inch barrel so you can't expect the greatest amount of accuracy but hey how often do you shoot a 223 remington out of a little handgun like this the tip up barrel part is cool and being that it is a pocket gun, it has a long and heavy trigger pull. We already showed clear here. We'll do that again. Okay, it is clear. But that long and heavy trigger pull, I mean, this is really some poundage here. I was talking to Gideon. He said 12 to 15 pounds, and I couldn't agree more. All right, we'll, we'll check that out again. No reset on this review because... Well, actually it does it's double action okay so i can see that it does no reset but in case you know it does have double strike capability taking a look at the sights here they are integrated in real small rear sights and a little bump in the front sight and then the grip it says hd all throughout heiser defense no checkering or anything so basically you're getting two finger contact and i'm told Hold on to this sucker because it's going to feel like a 357 plus P plus P and possibly another plus P. So we're going to take this out to the range and check it out. This is my first time even seeing this gun, even handling the gun. And I'm going to take a few shots of 223 Remington and see what, uh, see what it feels like. And it's an, all, it's an all stainless steel frame, by the way. So it, it does feel heavy. You know, for a pocket gun, this would weigh your pants down if you didn't have a good belt. But it... It has to be heavy considering you're shooting a rifle round out of a little subcompact tip-up barrel handgun. So let's head out to the range and we'll check it out. Here we have the Heiser Defense PAR-1. We'll go ahead and tip up the barrel, put the 223 round in, close it, long trigger pull. Let's see how it goes. Woo! All right, and then you manually Remove that. Let's do it again. That is a handful, and I mean a handful. It's a good idea to have this long, probably 15 pound trigger, just because it uh, you really have to hold on and you don't want anything going off in the pocket. Let's try that again. Oh, I think I like it. We'll move it up again. Sits in there just like that. You can see that it does extract a bit. Just push it down. And the long single action, or well, double action trigger pull with street restrike capability. Wow. I've got one more here. And I believe that is a stuck. That's stuck. Right now, that is stuck as much as I try to, to move those levers forward to get this out. I'm going to have to take a look at this and, and see what's going on. But that is that round is currently stuck. I don't know if the case bulged or whatever the case, but when I go to move this forward, it is not tipping up the way it did with those other ones. So I'm going to check this out. I talked to Gideon, he got that out, he said he just took a cleaning tool and forced that lever forward to tip up the barrel. He said out of about 60 shots it has happened four times so far, so 
not a big deal. I still have one more round left. Let's go ahead and shoot this one and see if that happens again. He said it's still relatively a new gun, so it may be part of the break-in period, something like this. Really not sure, but let's take this last shot and see how it goes. So there it is, the Heiser PAR1. 223 Remington, real interesting little pocket AR1 handgun. That's what, that's what it stands for. Very interesting. You can see some of the engraving there, Heiser. A little closer look at the grip. That's, those are... Uh, what's it say hd heiser defense and it, it was interesting at the range uh it definitely is a handful but i have to say if you're into something different and you like to have a lot of fun something like this is really cool especially for me because i'm just borrowing it i didn't even have to purchase this and i get to enjoy it so shout out to gideon for allowing me to shoot his par1 i certainly did enjoy it uh, a novelty gun yeah self-defense you certainly could use it but it definitely is different and i certainly enjoyed checking this thing out if you like videos like this please subscribe and share i always appreciate the thumbs up button thanks for watching and you guys be safe